Hi everybody, welcome to GW Center for Integrative Medicine YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Kogan, your co-host, a medical director uh, and associate professor of medicine here at GW University. So today, after, I, I know I had to do this video a long time ago, I'm sorry about this, but um, today's the day. So we've been uh, doing NAD injections or actually NAD infusions for a very long time. Uh, and about maybe three or four months ago, we decided to start doing injections. And the reason is very obvious, the injections are much lower cost. Um, you can do them at home. Um, they don't require any kind of complex preparations. They don't require a nurse. Um, we do teach you how to do the injections in the clinic, and it is important that the first one or two injections done in the clinic. We usually start with 25 milligrams or 50 milligrams, depending if we're worried about your heart rate. When you come to the clinic, we will check your heart rate. So right now my heart rate is usually, is, let's say, probably around 50 or 55. I'm not gonna be, actually I will measure it precisely um, or, or not if I don't have my, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. But the, the point is we would check your heart rate uh, and then what we will do is we will set up an injection. So I'm gonna show you how we do this and this is what you will do at home. If you forget, we will teach you this but if you forget, you can come and watch this video, and that's the reason we're recording this. At the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit about the actual reason we do the injections. So here I have uh, just a one cc diabetic syringe. Often they will already come with a needle. Here I had to put the needle on, it doesn't really matter. The injection goes under the skin. Because of that, you really doesn't matter what the length of the needle is. This is the smallest needles we have in the clinic. I think it's 27 or maybe 31 gauge. It again, doesn't matter. Um, you do have to have a bottle. So usually this is 10 milliliter. We use Archway company. And uh, usually you will have uh, expiration date. Uh, the, typically they'll expire within about three months. This one going to expire pretty soon. So I'm going to, uh, Clean it first. Uh, this was already open bottle. If you get a new one, the first time you do it, you don't need to clean, but this one has been used before. So you have to clean it first. And then you set the bottle aside and then you have to clean the skin. Now it's basically the simplest thing is to do the injection anywhere in the belly. So you have to clean it once with an alcohol prep and um, make sure that area that you clean you don't put clothes back on. So then you take the syringe, you draw it out. If you're doing it first time, you will do a half a milliliter. I already done many in injections to myself, so I'm gonna do a full milliliter. And that's a 50 milligram injection. Okay, so you draw it out until you get to one milliliter. And then the easiest thing, the needle is, this needle is very short. You can see it. Uh, the easiest thing is to take the skin like this and then just go right in all the way. And then when you insert um, into the skin, you start injecting slowly. Because this is a pure NAD, there is absolutely no uh, any kind of preservatives. There is no um, uh, buffering solution. You're going to burn a little bit. So your suggestion is inject slowly. If you inject fast, you're gonna feel some stinging, I don't know, maybe for a minute or two after the injection. So I'm feeling the stinging right now and I'm just pushing it very slowly. The advantage here is, again, this is not, you don't need to go at the angle, you don't need to go right under the skin. If you're really, really skinny, even skinnier than me, much skinnier, don't worry. Everybody have a little bit of a cushion of the fat. So I'm about halfway through. So while I'm doing this, why are we doing this? Well, first of all, NAD is heavily used as anti-aging. It's our own molecule. We make NAD every day of our life. Every cell of our body makes NAD as part of the Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle is the energy cycle of our body that's done in mitochondria. You are assured to say that you do produce NAD in every cell all the time. So what is 50 milligrams adding to the daily pro provision or daily supply of your own NAD? Very little, but nonetheless, we have found that this is dose that actually works. Um, 
it probably works uh, because you're doing it regularly. When we used to do this in, as an infusion, we used to do 500 milligrams, so 10 times the dose. Problem is it's very expensive. It takes four hours, and I'll explain in a second why it's so, so slow. And, um, you know, it's just practically very difficult. You, if you, let's say you do it once a week, you have to block four hours plus the time to travel to the clinic, and it's very expensive. So, because you have to pay for the nursing time in essence. In here you don't, so you just pay for the vials. The vials are actually getting a bit cheaper. So the whole vial is right now, full price is 140, but if you buy 10, then we give you 20% discount that we pass to you because the big component of the pricing is the shipping. This stuff has to be on ice all the time. We only have two milliliters left in this vial, so I'm kind of violating protocol because it shouldn't stay out even for a minute because it's so sensitive to temperature. But it's okay since we're almost done with this vial. Okay, so I'm done. So I'm going to pull out. If this happens, you may want to have some kind of um you know maybe a little bit of a gauze by the side so you just so you don't stain your clothing if the drop of blood comes out and that's it and you're done uh dispose the needle appropriately it needs to go in a sharp container if you don't have sharp container you could create like a little uh, little jar where you're going to be putting it for and then when you fill it up you can bring it to the appropriate location where or, or to our clinic and we will dispose it appropriately this goes back in the fridge um we use an AD for lots of things. We use it for post-COVID very heavily, seeing very good results for people with chronic fatigue. We use it for any chronic fatigue syndrome. We don't care whether it's related to the mold toxicity or chronic Lyme, whether it's just a chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, we use it every time when we assess someone's metabolic activity. We do this test called Nutrivel. And we're seeing that the Krebs cycle is not functioning well. So we would see succinic acid being high or low. Both things could mean that your mitochondria is not working very well. So you can actually experiment in a case like this. Uh, administering of NAD may, may make you feel a lot better. The benefits are often not just energy. The mind seems to get a lot clearer. People feel their processing speed increases significantly with the shots. People often tell us that um, it also feels like it, your detoxification improves and it makes a lot of sense. If mitochondria works better, detoxification will work better as well. So it's a very broad um, effect. What I'll do is in the part of the link uh, in the description to the video that I'll post on YouTube and then we'll, we'll put, in, put it on our media, I'll make sure I put the link to a deeper dive into the NAD. Uh, in the uh, anti-aging NAD effects into the um, uh, general metabolic effects of NAD. So there will be a link to some of the sites as well as some references, which I don't want to discuss here since I want to keep this video practical and very short. I hope this was helpful. See you soon covering all the things in uh, health, wellness, integrative medicine and how to stay healthy in this complex, toxic world. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.